Louise and LaBelle captive in their home while he punched and slapped her and beat her head against a wall. The 40-year-old bodybuilder even stabbed her in the face with the jagged ends of a split cider can. Her ordeal only ended when she leapt out of a first-floor window to escape the thug. Susan said, people who are thinking about her taking steroids to get the ideal body should think again. These drugs fry the brain. David thought bigger was better. He went to the gym every day. All he cared about was getting muscles. He would push his chest out to make him look bigger. I was blinded by love. And young girls will go for someone like that. They think they will protect them, but you don't know what is going on behind the scenes. He just totally flipped one day. It wasn't until I was lying in a hospital bed that I found out he was addicted to steroids. The mom of two, 46, told how Bolton tortured her at home in Merton, Company Durham, on Christmas Day in 2016, while high on drugs. She said, he had only just asked me to marry him. But he was acting really strange and said he didn't want to go to my parents. When we got back he just snapped. He told me I was having an affair. He trapped me in the living room and told me I wasn't getting out. He kept choking me as cage fighters do, so I was put to sleep. But then he'd wake me up and start hitting me. He would stand there as if he was fighting in the ring. He took his top off so he wouldn't get blood on it. He sat on top of me, so I couldn't move and punched me in the stomach. Bolton told her, I'm going to torture you like you tortured me. The abuse went on for 14 hours, only ending the next day when a barefoot Susan, wearing only pajamas, jumped out of a top floor window after Bolton fell asleep. It took all my strength to get away, she said. I was half dead. When police visited Susan in hospital, they said Bolton was pumped with steroids and other drugs. She had black eyes, cuts and bruising, a broken jaw and a permanent bald patch, and even now suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Last week a study found teenage boys are using risky supplements to get Love Island style bodies. They believe bigger is better and feel pressure to put on muscle that will help them win places on school sports teams. Professor Susan Backhouse of Leeds Beckett University's Carnegie School of Sport, said programs like Love Island may play a role in driving drug use as they shape our perception of the ideal body. They see these incredibly honed, muscular physiques on their TV screens as being normal, then drugs like steroids are a shortcut to achieving that. Susan, who met Bolton on Facebook six months before the attack, said he was obsessed with his looks, but I didn't realize he was going as far as taking drugs. They destroyed him. Bolton admitted false imprisonment, wounding with intent and making threats to kill in a narcotic-fueled haze of jealous rage at Durham Crown Court in February 2017. Jailing him, the judge said Bolton posed a threat of serious harm to other women and banned him from contacting Susan. Earlier this year doctors revealed up to a million Brits were taking steroids to change their looks. They range from teens seeking the perfect physique to elderly men trying to look younger. 
research suggests that appearance rather than sporting performance is the main reason. There is growing concern that the desire to conform to a ripped male image beloved of people featured in lifestyle magazines and reality TV is causing young men to put their long-term health at risk by taking ever more complex cocktails of drugs. Susan said, I just want people to be aware that there is a huge price to pay. There is a very dark side to taking steroids. Last week an inquest heard that a schoolboy died after taking steroids to bulk up. Luke O'Brien fell ill just days into sitting an exam. The 18-year-old's mother said he was taking the pills as he was not as tall as some of his friends. Days earlier a family warned about steroids after a gym-obsessed dad died of a stroke. Security guard Luke Stone, 28, became obsessed with building muscle after a love split, often working out three times a day. Pill-popping hulks go paranoid anabolic steroids are manufactured drugs that mimic the effects of the male hormone testosterone. Some people take them to help build muscles or to try and look more manly. Others take them to improve how they perform in sports, such as sprinting and cycling. The drugs can make users feel paranoid, aggressive and violent for no reason. It's not unusual for them to lash out and attack family and friends. Steroid abuse can also lead to serious physical health problems at all ages, including strokes or heart attacks. Steroids are pushed on people at the gym or sold online. Online bodybuilder forums host scores of discussions about their use. Possession or sale without a prescription is illegal. Anabolic steroids are Class C drugs. It is not an offense to possess them for personal use, but supplying them without a license can result in up to 14 years in prison and an unlimited fine. Charlie's Roid Rage actor admitted to suffering roid rage after taking steroids to prepare for his role in baseball movie Major League. The star, 52, took them to get in shape for the 1989 flick. But he quit the drug after eight weeks when he flew into a rage at fans who mocked his haircut. He said, I didn't like the haircut because it generated so many comments in bars. I've got enough of that already. Add that to the mix and it's a recipe for a fist fight. Charlie was the highest paid actor on US TV before he was fired from hit show Two and a Half Men over erratic behavior, later blamed on steroids.